Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. So, yep, in the last part, we got shot. And by the way, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. In the last part, we got shot, and yeah, it's a great way to start a game getting shot. So, yes, this is like Grand Theft Auto, except it's in Western times. So. Mr. Yeah, Marston, it's gonna be more back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. <coughs> nah, don't worry. I'm good. So yeah, you know, following Bonnie. And that's where we gotta go. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. Excuse me? I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, it's time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Yeah, this is a nice, like, you know, quiet town. I would like to be here. If I were back in those days. I don't know about now. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Dang, she's already judging me. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Yeah, I guess she's right. Whoa there! Yeah. It's a nice gallop. I'm getting to know. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Hmm. A lot of people were arc 
architects, apparently. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Right, you know. Whoa. Hitch my horse. And I'd be heading on my way. Come on, I don't buy it. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Yep, so we're we gonna do a little moving. night watching. This is a dangerous time of night for us. How are you today? Let's see. I'm pretty good. Right. I don't know if she was Follow talking me. to me, though. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Excuse me? I work alone. Okay, so, you know, it's a nice... I don't believe it. Those damn Night. rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Rabbits. Whoa! Come on, then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, shoot! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. Those little barbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a good shot, Mr. Marston. That rabbits didn't stand a chance. Hell no. Let's mount up and control the rest of the property. Uh, Let's get going. We've still got plenty rapper. of ground to cover. Anyway. Yeah, I like. I just love if it's the, not the rustlers layout stealing our cattle, and it's the rabbits of this stealing our crops. King. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. It's so beautiful and so lifelike. Uh oh, not the chickens. Come on. Whatever shall we do with no chickens? That coyote won't do that. That's it. Damn coyote. The black chickens? Where's the other one? Easy. Oh, there it is. You got it. No, you don't. You're a horrible shot. Gotta do everything around here, man. Looks like that I just got here. The coyotes. Just a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Didn't I just come to my room? Come from my room, I mean. And you know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Another thing I like about this is the horse butt phys physics. I mean, the detail in them are just... Ugh. <laughs> That's not what I thought of, so... Yeah, it's only what I heard. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. 
Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. That's my bed. Where I can save the game. And that's my treasure chest where I can refill on ammo if I need it. And yeah. I think I'll stop it right here. Yeah. Um I'll just see you guys in the next part. Bye.